Hello everybody and welcome once again to Galactic Science 2. So, I have basically got messed up a few things from that visit, but we got back safely anyway, so that was pretty good. But let's get this next thing done, I want to get the quarry sorted out. Now, I was trying to set it up so that I could use the ender chest, the same ender chest, but it doesn't work very well. So I've created a new ender chest with an orange stripe in the middle. So let's get that set up. So basically what I want to do is to put, or, oh sorry I pressed the wrong button again, F5. I want to put into this, if I can get it, this export bus here some carbon. So we just export carbon out of here. I don't really need to speed it up so I'm not going to bother. We'll just fa we'll put the 64 in here like that. And that will slowly fill up. What have we got in here? Empty tubes. Okay, I don't need those with me. I'll put those back in the system. This should go into the one place where it's got empty tubes. And I've got some Mars cobblestone in here, which I don't need either. The reason for that is I've got too much. Look at this. I've got 2.2 million uh, Mars cobblestone at the moment, but I'm not going to dump it because Serialize tells me don't dump anything that you don't have to. So, now, let's go back to Pluto. Because I did come back and I did set it up, so that's fine. What's this next? Moon base. Okay. Pluto base. I also set up these two here like that. What time of day is it? Uh, it's in the middle of the night. Well, you know, I want to get this quarry set up as fast as possible. So I'm just going to take a risk and go and quickly do it if I can. So what we basically want to do now is to put the, yeah, let's do it like this. Put this down here like this. Remove this. In fact, I probably can pull from the left hand side then, can't I? Yep, fantastic. So I don't even need this in here at all. We can remove this altogether. And that's it for this particular quarry. I think it'll just carry on quarrying. Don't need this Pluto. Oh, I do need that with me. Actually, let's take one of these. If I'm fast enough. All right, got one. Moon rock. Moon rock? Okay, moon rock's fine. So this should be quarrying out this fairly nicely now. So let's, the next plot, place to go to is Venus, because we need that Venus rock. So let's go and do that as well. It's also a good idea to make so, sure you've got a platform in here as well. So I put the platform so I basically can get in quite easily like that. So I also created some, what did I put down? Some aspirin and so, I can't remember which one it is glycine or something like that for food and health so we've got the chest here and in it I've basically got so everything that we need except I've got to wait for this to to fill up which won't take too long I've also got some sterling generators in here in fact it might not be such a bad idea to set up the other one as well but I think we'll leave that for the time being I don't need this fuel tank we'll take that one put that in there and as soon as this is charged up, we'll go to Ve we'll go to Venus. So I'll see you in a few seconds when this is charged up. Right, we're nearly ready. As soon as that's done, we can go. Now we can go. Let's go to Venus. Venus base. And we're also in the middle of the night as well in Venus. That's actually not so great. But it looks like mob there. I wonder if that mob is going to attack me or it's too far away. Mm -hmm. Well, I've basically got to wait, which is a bit of a nuisance. I think the Venus days go quite quickly. So wait a few more seconds, a minute, and I'll see you back in a few seconds from when the Venus, when it's daytime. Well, I'm back. It's been quite a long time and I've had some fun in the meantime. I've been killing a few mobs. But anyway, that wasn't part of the game, so let's get on and do the rest of this. Basically, I've got to put down the markers. What I was doing, could I look at this? Look at that lava down there. Maybe I should set up um, a mining well plus so pull up the lava. I don't know. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go down here. And of course, the gravity on Venus is a lot higher 
than it is on the other planets. So we're going to set up this this quarry. There's another village here. Look at that. Just see it in the background. Oh, there's quite a few. You can see quite nicely all the the X-ray sort of type of vision of the stuff, can't we? So you've knocked the top of that hill off. Right here we go. So this was one corner of the of the thing which I prepared already. As you can see, I killed. I got a few Venus rods when I was getting bored waiting for this. Instead of being five minutes, it took about an hour. So let's go down over here. Set up this quarry. I'm just going to carry on with the quarry as it was. And it'll probably pull up this, most, dig up most of this village, I reckon. I just wish the rendering was a bit more speedy. Just see the line as well, which is great. So I'm heading towards that top corner of the line. I don't think I put down the marker for the base. Yeah, probably should have done that as well, shouldn't I? Right, we're nearly there. But I need some more materials, so I'll just mine a few more materials. If I can climb up. And yeah. <laughs> I'd prepared everything, but didn't actually put down the markers. Which I'm not sure was a sensible thing to do, really. Right, so the last marker goes there. So we'll let this basically all do its stuff. I'm not going to get down here. Let's just put another block down here. Step on it, then we'll probably be able to jump without hurting too much. So let's go to back to base now, which of course will be the end of this line. Go over this hill. Oops, we need to off this one, don't we? Because the oxygen's running down too. But now we can see the cross, which is great. Just coming up to the edge of this, I'm going to keep to the left hand side because we can't actually see where everything is yet. But there will be a big hole in a second. There we go. I didn't really want to fall into that hole. Okay, so let's right click this now with an empty hand. So we've got that, we can take away the, the marker. We can then bring the quarry and put the quarry beside it. So let's just I think now we have to use a pickaxe. I'll use shift on this one, pick it up. We can in fact pick up the, this, that's great. So all we need to do now is to put the quarry down. Where's it like? Where's it gone to? Oh, no. I think I put the quarry down. That's strange. Didn't expect that to do that. That's just that, that means I've lost all the markers. They'll be all in this. Where are the markers? Let's put the quarry down again. I haven't done that before. I've got a chest I can put on top of the. No, I've got a resin cache that'll do. <laughs> Let's just remove the from the cache here the empty 
distinct. That's not very good. Okay, that didn't work either. So let's just. So what's happened to my markers in that case? Have they gone into here? If they have gone into here, then I'm messed up again. Actually, that rotated. Okay, right, then I've messed it up. I've got to go back home. Right, let's do that then. Because they won't, if they're in here, they've gone. So we went we'll back to moon base next. Hmm. So in that case, we should have some markers in here. Let's have a look. One. Oh, did it only pick up the one? So that means the others are still there. That's a bit strange. I don't understand what's going on there. Hmm. Tell you what we'll do. But in that case, if everything's set up, I don't need to worry too much, do I? There is something else we could build. Let me have a look. There's, there's an orange one in the middle. Oh. Well, let's fill up this orange. Let's fill up this tank anyway. So let's put that into there like that, and then get out what we got in here because they're obviously full. Put those into here. I've got some redstone. I'll get rid of these as well. I don't need these. In fact, let's put those into there. And put these into here. We don't need the sulfur and that. Can that not go on top of that? No, it's empty. That's strange. Maybe these just have to be put down. And I don't need these glowstone torches. What else don't I need? Hmm. Well, that's not what I wanted to do today. And the rocket will be upstairs, won't it? Let's go upstairs. Yeah, the rocket's here. Oh, we've got three tanks and that's good. I should really to make some more aspirin because I've I've got one tank here I've used up, so that's uh, also not very good. I've also got a spare oxygen gear, which I don't understand. I think that's everything. Okay, good. So next we've got to go back to Venus. What can we do in the meantime? I was prepared. Oh, yes, I know. While this is charging up, let's have a look at this. This was a... You know, I made um, a compressor in here and it disappeared and I couldn't figure out where it went to. It went in here. <laughs> With some steel casings. Would you believe it? So that's not very sensible. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to move this chest. So let's move this chest. Let's take these out first of all and put those somewhere else uh, I suppose he'll do fine actually for the time being oh, with a bit of luck I'll be able to just do that twice and then we can break this chest here so hopefully I've got a chest which I have, yes I can put the chest down let's put the chest down here <laughs> put these into it, good let's go and get that There'll be one more after that. This will take two seconds. Take about five. Right. In fact, what I'll do is I'll do the Venus Quarry between episodes, I think, because it's just running around putting down markers. It's not very exciting, really. Not something I haven't done three or four times before. So we found out where our compressor was, and I think there is something else. This. Now, where is my... Right, let's get the pickaxe out that I actually want, which is this one. I'm going to remove this here now. Because what I'm going to do is this is the... Because when I tried this last, I put this into here. No problem at all. And I took my efficiency pickaxe, and I've got an efficiency pickaxe in here. And this was actually efficiency 4. Now it's an efficiency 1 pickaxe. Now this is efficiency 3. 
So let's put that into there and the laser into here. And when I clicked efficiency last time, it wouldn't go on to there. Now I've got efficiency four, so it is working just fine. And tell us through what I did wrong. And this wouldn't go on. Anyway, this time it's fine, so that's good. Now there are th other things you can add to these laser bosses. Let's go and do that as well. So what I would like, normally you can only use the pickaxe, the diamond pickaxe for transferring stuff. But Zero Life tells me, another tip from Zero Life, is you can actually also use bows. And I've got plenty of good bows if I sort this. Now I'll look down here for example, I've got, what have I got here? On power three, on breaking three. Let's take that one. And another on breaking three, and another on breaking two. Let's put this one back into here. Now that actually belongs upstairs, in the chest, in the, in the chest between places. In fact, I used it. all of the bows were in there as well, so let's just put that back into here. There were arrows, there were 64 arrows in there and they've all gone, because I used them up while I was waiting for the... I was waiting for daylight in Venus, that's very funny. So what you can also do is use these. But let's have a look, first of all. That's power three, I'm breaking three. Let's go and put this one back here. This is the efficiency four. Big act, no, um, laser. Well, what Zero Life also says if you go to efficiency 5, then what you really need to do is to bring up from below very fast cables. So the cryo flux duct cables are the ones we need. So if we look at this now, this says it's got stored in it what's that? That's 125 billion. It's hard to read it. Let me just have a quick look. Now it's 1.25 billion. RF. So let's take this pickaxe. Let's take this now. And go and put this into here. Like like this. So that's efficiency three. And we'll put in this unbreaking three. And then we can actually transfer the unbreaking from here. So if I click that, that's now got unbreaking one, two, three. And this has lost all its unbreaking, which is fine. You can't do any more than three unbreaking, so that's fine. Let's go and have a look at what that does to the power. Now this time it has got a store of 312 million RF. So it's it's storing a lot less power. In fact, it did lose the power between the two between the two times and removing it and putting it on again. And you can see this is also doing the same. Let's go and do it with this one as well. Let's remove this. So at the moment it's got, oh, very strange, but that wasn't what it said before. Let's just remove it. That says, well, let's, go and, let's put onto this one the efficiency as well. So we've got another unbreaking three boat. can't get out. Let's put that on there now. So this time it's, let me have a look, I'm, I think that's 1.5, yes that's 1.6 billion, so that's come down in consumption. And that's the case with all of these. So let's see what it does now for crafting recipes. I think we should be making some more um, Let's have a look. We should be, always be making some 6, 4K storage cells, I think. Yes, we are. This is actually still in progress. Crafting those up. I think that's all that's going on at the moment. Uh, I think this one is actually can be cancelled. Oh, no, it does want to do 6. But I think because it's, this is using pure crystals, it conflicts. And I think that's what the problem is with the other one. So while that's doing crafting these, and this is crafting the same thing. Oh, I can cancel this for certain because that's gone as well because nothing's happening in there. I just have to check this again. 
so that's doing some cells now it's scheduling 64 uh, seeds domain which is fine oh yes that's right because in here we're getting some seeds and I've turned it off how have I turned it off actually at the moment I think I've probably turned it off because I've and that's the export bus underneath here I've probably got this so what I thought about doing is we could actually do this as well we can take this out of here like that we can get a lever Goodness, 221 mini red hearts and I can't do anything with them <laughs> James so I could put the lever down here for example on this block and that powers this block here so if I come down here now I need to go down two, maybe even three. Now I can do it from here. Look, let's get my yutta wrench out here and shift left click this. And then this is never active. So if we make this, we left click this, so we say active with the redstone signal. Now that's already triggered that, so that means the other one is on. Let's get out of here and put those blocks back again. We only got four to put back. So if I now look at this here. This is now on. I can't reach it quite so easily. There we go. We can reach it. So now it's levers on. That means it should have been active. Okay, that's empty. Let's turn that off. And that should be disabled now. So the seed should come into here. Uh, I don't think. We, uh, no, they're going in and out. Let me just turn it off again. Oh, it says on. No, they're still going out. Well, that should work. I don't ask me what I've done wrong. I'll, I'll fix that later on. It does work. It definitely works. Because I did it between episodes. I tested it out. Let me double check this one again. Oh, always active. What happened there? They're never active. Active with signal. So it wants to be an on signal. will be work. Okay, good. Let's put these back again. So what have we got? It's now set to on. Let's turn it off. So the seeds should then start to accrue in here, which they are doing. Fantastic. Okay, so we have a, a, a way of getting seeds. I'm going to go and put these um, bows back because at the moment I'm throwing all the I'm throwing the bows away. But what I really should would like to do is maybe not throw the bows away since they actually do are useful. Maybe what we should do is look at another system for dealing with those. So we only throw away bows without enchant. So that's not too difficult to do. And this is also a problem because I've filled up this with diamonds, and I've got an export. I've got a storage bus on these. Well, I'm going to chase, replace the storage bus actually, and I'm going to put in its place import bus here. So we're just going to import these diamonds into here because when I looked at this. Actually, it's gone down a bit. These were all full. Everything was full. I was going, oh no, not again. In fact, so anyway, that should be limited. That won't work after 500,000, wherever it's gone to here. So these two are now working again, producing carbon. And this will be producing diamonds again. And as you can see, that's going down, but also at the same time, it should go up. So we'll leave that to work. And we'll just leave those diamonds to accrue into the system and get rid of some of that carbon, because that's also a blockage. So what else? Oh. Let's go back up here. And I've got to put in, as you see, I've got all these tanks in here. Let's just take this tank out of there. And put this into here, wrong way place. Oh, we need to make the recycler, don't we? I'm running out of oxygen, you see. I'll fill these two up. Put them in there like that, and then come out the bottom. We'll just take this one out of the bottom. And then we have plenty of oxygen for the next while. So what we were make what I was trying to make last time was the recycler wasn't it? So let's do that now. So we've got the compressor. In fact, I think I've got two because I made a second one because I couldn't find this one. <laughs> well, that's not so bad, is it? 
Let's see if we can find the recycler. So this is the recycler recipe here. So have we got everything we need? Maybe we just have no dirt, really. Glowstone, we must have glowstone dust. Dirt three and iron ingots, we must have dirt. That's strange, let's have a look. We've got enough dirt, we've got four. I think they go like that. Glowstone. Yeah. Okay, it's being difficult. And iron ingots. I got some more enchanted helmets, that's good. So we now have the recycling, fantastic. I don't ask me what was going on with that. I really don't understand that. In fact, he took the one I've got here, so let's get that one out of the way. Now let's put these steel machine holes away as well. <clears throat> Wow. So the recycle this recycle is going to take um EU, so that basically means it's got to be over here. So my EU machines are these, aren't they? What have we got here? The compressor and the extractor. My fuel tanks are in the way. <clears throat> but it's no big deal. What we can do is we can remove this one. It's going to give me a bat box. Bat box will do it fine, actually. Was, I'm not sure what the power requirements for this one are. I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll put this down somewhere else. Let's put it down here. Like that. So that's got plenty of power now. Good. So what we need to do is to bring into this one some junk that we don't want. So let's put an export bus onto this. Oh, no. Let's go back upstairs. I need to have this because I haven't done the quest. There is a quest for this and I've forgotten to do it. And that in one of these, yes, I've got the wrench. Mode lossless, that's the one we need. because I need to pick it up with the wrench. If I pick it up with anything else, including the tech reborn stuff, they break. So we don't want to do that. Like that. Let's just go and detect the quest. Let's put this wrench back in the back, back box here. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Okay. Because you can, you can power it up again now, which I think is a good idea. In fact, I think Industrial Crust has a wireless one of those, which will probably be better for base, especially if you're moving one or two machines around. So let's quickly go and check that quest. And I think this is Stars Align, if I'm not mistaken. Ah, yes, we've got this recycler. Oh, got 64. Okay, let's detect that. And that should say that's been done. So let's just do that again. Yes, yeah, so that's now complete. Good. So now we can put it down and we need to basically put some junk into this. Where's it gone to? So we'll put on top of this an export bus. And we need to find some junk that we want to put into it. And I'm not sure. The best thing, of course, would be Venus rock and Venus stuff because that's what I'm going to be producing next. So let's get that done. What have I got in the system for Venus? I've got done a bit because I was doing some a little bit of clearing away. So we've got some Venus cobblestone and we've got some Venus surface rock. I'm not sure about the other materials. So we've got some coal, iron, copper, tin, Ruby ore, which we do need actually, and crystal, Venus crystal, which I don't think we need. Galactic science one, well, that was a challenge. Getting enough Venus crystal ore to do anything at all was just a crazy challenge. So I'll put those two into here like this. I need a capacity card, don't I? Okay, I'll put in two capacity cards for that. And then we should have in here whatever it is that we need. Let's 
put 64 of those in there. So we've got six, two scrap already. So let me go and put this back. Next episode is going to be episode 100. Who would have thought at the beginning of this series I've actually had a 100? That looks like it's working fine. It's a bit slow, so we could put some speed upgrades in here. Let's do that as well. I'm going to put a speed upgrade in here by the looks of it as well. So an accelerator card. And what have we got that we're not using speed upgrades for? I'll tell you what we can do. We can craft some as well, I think. To probably complain because we haven't got enough snow. Let's hope it doesn't matter that much. So those are overclockers. Let's craft eight of those. No, ten. So actually we're missing 548 snowballs. That's no big deal as it happens. We can easily increase that. So where have I set that up? That was over here, wasn't it? Yeah. Let's just change this submitted now to being 5,000. And that will start to produce snowballs like crazy. And then we should be able to craft 10 overclockers. Oops. Let's try that thing. It's just 10. Next. So we're nearly there. It's got These will go very fast as it happens. So I have to cancel that until no crafting CPU is available as well. That's the second problem. What's going on here? Oh, are these still crafting up again? Let's cancel that one because I'm sure that shouldn't be working. Unless it's blocked. I don't think it is as it happens. Let me check the seeds. Yeah, that's fine. So now let's try that again. I'm sure those will have been done by now. So let's do 10. I'll start. There we go. So they're going to be working crazily to produce some overclockers for us for the scrap. Yeah. So episode we've got eight pieces of scrap. Wow, it's going to take a it's going to take a while. So between now and the next episode, which is going to be episode one hundred, we will finish this quest. And let's have a look at what we got to do next after this one. I'm a scrap man. This one it doesn't matter, which is basically a matter fabricator. I think we get one of these as a reward as well, but uh, maybe it's this one that's I'm a scrap man that we need. So that's basically it. Oh, the other thing I wanted to look at improvements have done take flight. Well, this one is I can't do this, and if I did this, I'd get a matter fabricator as a reward. 252 billion RF is actually no problem, we've got tons of power. So I could just simply cheat it in, because as you see, we've got 2.73 trillion. In other words, 2,730 two, 2, billion RF. So I've got plenty of RF for doing that. And this one was just a problem with the the air fuel mixes needs a lot of um, chassis, doesn't it? Steel holes. Can't remember how many it needed. Let's have a look again before I go. Um, so if I go and look at the uses of this one, so that's one uses, and I think this is we're going to need this somehow. We're going to need this super condensator from, so that would need two steel hulls. That's for that one. Assembly table. This is actually an assembly table recipe, I think, is the one we need. Some of these actually don't really make sense. If you look at this, this one wants one vibrant, to, which is actually less difficult, and 32 enderium. Well, it doesn't make sense, does it? For the same power. So this one needs 16 machine holes and 460k, 464k storage. That's just a lot. But we're slowly making working towards this, I think. It's just I can't do a recipe. I can't do a craft, single crafting of that until I've got a lot more storage. Anyway. So what I'm saying is for episode 100, we're going to go and visit some more planets. So between now and then, I'm going to make some more waystones. 
and quarries. So until then, I'm going to say bye for now.